Today we're talking about our new app called Basic Rules. And as the name implies, it is basic, but in a way it is glorious because it follows a common automation logic we are all familiar with. When this thing happens, then do this other thing. Even just using this basic logic, it can do some pretty cool stuff. Let's demonstrate basic rules by building a rule that says when my bathroom motion sensor detects motion, then turn on the bathroom lights. As we get into it, we'll add some additional actions and restrictions, but let's start with this. So we're gonna go into our apps. If you have a new Hubitat elevation, you may notice that basic rules is already preloaded onto your hub. Otherwise, you can load it by clicking up here to add built-in app. Let's go into basic rules and we are gonna create a new basic rule. You'll see that basic rules has us build our rule in a very linear fashion. Remember, our rule is gonna be when our bathroom motion sensor detects motion, turn on the bathroom lights. So we'll select a motion sensor here. Based on the types of devices you have already added to your Hubitat Elevation system, you may have different options right here. So next, we'll select Motion is Active right here. Then in this box, we need to select our Bathroom Motion Sensor. So that's the when part of our rule. Now we need to add the do this part of the rule. Our do this is turn on the light. So we will select turn on right here. Now it will tell us to select switch it to turn on. A switch can mean uh, different things. It can mean a wall switch or a smart plug or a smart bulb. Pretty much anything you can turn on or off, really. So we will select our bathroom lights right here and hit update. At this point, our rule as we wrote it is done. Now there are more options we can add, but if this is all we want to do, we can click done. We can click done to go back to our apps. And there it is, it's our first basic rule. Okay, now let's see what else we can do with basic rules. You can always go back in and edit a rule by clicking on it. So here we are, we're back. We can select add another action if we want to trigger something else to happen at the same time our lights turn on. You can add as many simultaneous actions as you want. Now let's say you want to add an action that occurs later but still is part of this rule. For example, in our rule, we probably want to automate the lights to turn off at some point so we don't have to physically turn them off like some sort of caveman. Now to do this, we'll click add wait until. Now when you click here, again, you'll see several options here to select as a triggering event. We're gonna use our motion sensor again, and we're gonna select motion has stopped and stayed inactive. If you just select motion has stopped, the lights will go off immediately when motion stops. You might catch yourself with your face half shaved, standing in a dark room, wondering what the heck is going on. So we select motion has stopped and stayed inactive. We select the same bathroom motion sensor, and we're gonna select five minutes. Should give us plenty of time to finish our business. So, our hub is gonna wait until this happens. Now we need to tell it to do something. We'll select add another action. We are gonna turn off the bathroom lights. Now these rules can get confusing the more things you add, but you can always scroll up here to check out your rule and see that everything is making sense. Now there's a few more things you should know about. You can add restrictions to your rule by clicking on this box. Some of the restrictions you can add include uh, only making it work during certain times or during certain days, that sort of thing. You can even program a separate switch to disable the rule if you want. So in this instance, since we don't want to set any restrictions, we'll hit the cancel button. All right, there's two more things. First, the rule automatically names itself based on what you select. But if you want to name it yourself, click this toggle and enter the rule name right here. Finally, you'll see this enable logging toggle right here. Turn this on if you want to see what your rule is doing when you check your logs. So with that, we can click done and our basic rule is saved. As you can see, basic rules can be quite powerful once you get into it. So that's it for this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to see more videos when they come out. And if you need help building your rules, visit our online community at community.hubitat.com. Thanks for watching and thanks for elevating your environment with Hubitat Elevation.